concentration of OH negative. So I have written Kw is equal to H plus squared. Now I know that at room temperature Kw is equal to 10 to the power of minus 14. So using this I can calculate the concentration of H plus because H plus will equal to the root of 10 to the power of minus 14 which is 10 to the power of minus 7 mole per dm cube. So this is the concentration of H plus ions. Ten to the power of minus seven mole per dm cube. Now, if I put the formula of pH, which is equal to negative log ten of H plus ions, so I can say pH is equal to negative log ten log base ten of ten to the power of minus seven, because the concentration of H plus is ten to the power of minus seven mole per dm cube. And this gives me a value of 7. So uh, as you can see over here at room temperature we know that water is neutral because it has a pH of 7. And we just proved that water has a pH of 7. Because uh, we, put the, we first calculated the concentration of H plus ions and then we calculated the pH and we get 7. So we can say that at room temperature water is neutral. It is neither acidic nor basic at room temperature. So similarly, when we are given the concentration of H plus ions, for example, if we have HCl, so HCl is a strong acid, where is my, yeah, so HCl is a strong acid and it will completely dissociate, not partially, it will completely dissociate to form H plus, I should not be putting square brackets over here, it will completely dissociate to form H plus. The Cl negative ions so the concentration of HCl will be the same as the concentration of H plus because HCl is completely dissociating HCl is a strong acid hydrochloric acid it is a strong acid so it is completely dissociating so if I have x mole per dm cube of HCl then I have x mole per dm cube of H plus ions in solution because HCl will completely dissociate so if I have x mole per dm cube of H plus ions I can just put X instead of the concentration of H plus in the formula of pH which will give me the, concentrate, the pH of hydrochloric acid and this value will be very low because you know that the concentration of H plus ions will be very high since the concentration of H plus ions is the same as the concentration of HCl so it will be very high and therefore we will get a, a low pH, a very low pH, around 1 or 2, like not even 2, it will be very close to 1. So that will be our pH of HCl. Now what if we want to calculate the pH of a base? So we know that when NaOH sodium hydroxide, we have NaOH, it will dissociate completely to form Na+. Plus and OH negative ions. I am not writing aqueous, I have not included the state symbols which is wrong so I will include the state symbols NaOH aqueous gives completely dissociates because NaOH is a strong base so it will completely dissociate to form Na plus aqueous ions plus OH negative aqueous ions. So this will be the complete dissociation of NaOH. Now the, the concentration of NaOH will be the same as the concentration of OH negative ions because NaOH completely dissociates. So if I have x mole per dm cube of NaOH then I will have x mole per dm cube of OH negative ions in solution. Now if you see the formula of pH we cannot uh, really calculate pH of uh, this of NaOH because there are no H plus ions over here. There is only OH negative ions and we need the concentration of H plus ions. So what we do is we know that the, K, the ionic product of water is equal to H plus 
concentration of H plus times the concentration of OH negative 